Hey everybody, surprise. It's a surprise Facebook Friday. Things are falling over in my office, shaking the camera I see. Oh boy, it's been crazy around here. I thought I'd jump on and show you guys a fun little gift card holder that I designed for our team swap. We had a gift card holder swap this week and I've gotta make a lot of gift cards this week. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to find me, make sure I'm in the right spot. I spent the morning running around finalizing all of my Christmas things. I got gift cards today. It was the last thing I needed to get for the teachers. And then a few stocking stuffers and I think I'm done, fingers crossed. Hey everybody, I see you guys jumping on. Good, 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 good. Um, I did want to show you guys a couple of things that I did not get over here. If you could see like what's around, it's piles, piles of stuff. I'm ready for, I've got one more class to get out. Um, and then I'm cleaning my office, getting rid of all the Christmas stuff and moving on to this um, spring catalog. You can see I've got piles over there. Piles and piles, oh, piles drive me crazy. Thanks, Lisa, for sharing. And you know what? I meant to tell you guys um, that I have prizes, too, to give away. <laughs> There's another pile over here. Let's see. Um, let's pull out two prizes. I think that I'll just give these away for shares. And these are really good prizes. How about this one? This bundle. Bells are ringing. And free skate. I will give two bundles away. All right? All I got to do is share. Thanks for reminding me. So I've heard that these have begun arriving in your mailbox. Hopefully um, you have gotten yours. If not, I think yesterday was the first day that they really started showing up. So start stalking your mailman because it's a good one. And I have my first, well, I guess it's my, it's one of my January classes. January we'll have our Valentine's class, which is not ready, but I'm also gonna have this poppy, class. Poppy, I can't even remember the name of it right now. Peaceful Moments, Poppy. Oh, you guys, what's it called? I don't know, but look, sneak peek coming in January. All right, it's ready. PDF's done. All I have to do is list it. I'm going to wait till we're done with Christmas and then we'll be dreaming of spring, right? So that's coming. Also, the shares, paper and ribbon shares. You can sign up now for either the six by six or the six by 12 um, and ribbon. So you can get one or the other or both. Um, and those will, um, I will order those January 3rd. So you can sign up for these through January 3rd. <coughs> There's that cough again. Uh, so if you would like the link for those, just um, look on my blog and it's there. Um, I will, uh, put all of those orders in January 3rd and start cutting as soon as they get here um, and get them out to you as quickly as possible. A share gets you a piece of every piece of the new paper. Every pack of paper, you'll get a piece of it. And every new ribbon, you'll get a yard of it. Um, it's a great way to kind of uh, get a sampling of all the new stuff without having to buy all of it right off the bat. You can kind of get a sample and figure out which ones you want to order the full packs. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you. Okay, so a gift card holder. Um, I showed you guys on my blog on Monday a gift card holder that was just like this. I sent it to my Secret Santa. My team is spread out all over the country, so my downline Anne Marie had a great idea. Why don't we do a Secret Santa? So that's what we did, um, and um, we could spend up to $20. And one of the things I sent her was a Bath & Body Works um, gift card, because that's one of the things she said she likes. Um, you see my dog, can you see? Can you guys see him come in? <laughs> he came in and left, I think. Um, and so this little gift card holder, it opens like this, real simple, just like that, okay? It's super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Um, I also made it, <laughs> there they are, they think I'm calling them. Um, well, I lost my train of thought. So this one is for Addie's teacher. I like to get their teachers a dinner and a movie. So it's um, Santico's, that's our local movie theater, and Torchy's Tacos, 
which is my new favorite place, which is by the movie theater, and it all goes in there. And I'm gonna show you, I did it also with our little moose, it's cute with that uh, Christmas time is here paper. And then I'll show you the one that I got. Um, we did also, on our local team, we had a Bunko night. Um, Deborah, my downline, hosted Bunko at her house, and we did a gift card swap, so I gave one of these away there as well and then I got one which was really fun okay I'm gonna switch you guys around I think we've chatted long enough I just gave myself 30 minutes today um, gotta go get Addie a little after three yeah cute dogs thank you Vicki <laughs> cute when they're not barking or growling at people at the door one of these days I think Charlie's gonna go right through the glass Plug it. How about now? Can you hear me now? Hmm. I'm going to wait and see if you guys can hear me. No sound, no sound, no sound still. I unplugged the microphone. Yes, Lori says yes. Now you can hear. Weird. Okay, it switched over when I moved the camera. Okay, good. I unplugged the microphone. Um, what was I telling you? So the moose punch is gone. It's coming back though, right? Um, next September. This is the sneak peek of the stitched scallop rectangle, one of the new dies in the spring catalog. So I did that and then it opens the same way. See, and there's a little pocket right there for your gift card. That paper is still available. That's that Christmas time is here paper. All right, well, let's make this one. Remind me, don't let me forget to show you the gift card holder I got um, at our party. Okay, let's get started on this. And I, look, this is all I have <laughs> for, for a PDF today. So don't be looking for a PDF. There's not one today. I am barely hanging on trying to get it all done, you guys. All right, this is a piece of very vanilla thick and it is nine and a half by four and a fourth. And we're gonna score it at four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half, okay? And then all you're gonna do is fold this forwards and backwards, okay? Accordion fold like that. So can you see on the side? There we go, like that. So that's what it looks like. And it, it opens up like this. And I'm actually going to adhere this together. So flip it over to the back and grab your favorite strong adhesive, tear and tape, Tombow. If you have Tombow, if you have Fast Fuse left, you can do that too. So I've, I've adhered right here, this um, fold in the middle, all right? And before, <coughs> excuse me, before I adhere this down, I'm gonna adhere on the paper. And I'm using the 12 Tidings DSP. This bigger piece is four and an eighth by four. And you could use the green side or the red side, but I am partial to red, so we're gonna go with the red. And I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on each side right here. Now, don't use snail because it'll come apart, all right? And then I've got a piece of DSP. Oops, I just went off. You know what? I just realized I can't even really see your comments. So let me open up my Facebook. Okay, there we go. Whoa, Judy, you made $135. $135. 135 Christmas cards last week. Incredible. I made zero. <laughs> I made zero Christmas cards this year. 
I know. You know, when you do it for your job, it's just not as enticing to do it for fun. I mean, it is still fun. Don't get me wrong. I just couldn't get it done. Okay, so seven eighths by four and an eighth. This is four and an eighth by four. This is four and an eighth by two and seven eighths. And I'm gonna put this on my blog tomorrow, okay, with all the measurements on there. And then we've got another piece that is four and an eighth by two and seven eighths, and it's gonna go right down here. Okay, so see how that opens up? And you can put that gift card right in there. Let me grab another one. I have another one right here for Torchy's Tacos, yummy. All right, now I have taken a piece of real red cardstock that measures four by four and a fourth, and I scored it at just one inch right here, okay? And then I embossed with our subtle embossing folder. Subtle, is that what it's called? Subtle embossing folder? Suddenly that doesn't sound right. I'm gonna round these corners right there. And then, I'm gonna put that right there, adhesive, and I'm gonna adhere this to the back. All right, so now it's going to close like that. Okay, now we're gonna put some magnets there and I will give you guys the link for these magnets. They're from Amazon. Um, I'm gonna use a glue dot right now, um, but what I have found with these, these are the ones that don't have adhesive on them already. I have found that Tombow works best with these, um, but you have to give it quite some time to really dry. Set like a, a punch or something on top of it, give it some time to dry, and then it, they really stay in place. The glue dots, they don't stay in place quite as well. The magnets are pretty strong. Okay, so see how that keeps it closed just like that. Now I have cut out these wreaths. Remember we did a whole Facebook Friday on these beautiful wreaths. And I'm, I've cut two of them out of very vanilla. And I'm gonna glue one right there. And then I didn't get all the little doodads out of that one because it's on the bottom, but I do wanna get them out of this one. And then a few more dots of glue, and I don't want to set it so that it's exactly the same, I want to offset it. So twist it a little bit, and you'll get a fuller wreath. And then here's this silver um, deer from the, let's see if I can remember it off the top of my head, Snow Globe Scene Dies. No, we're gonna need a mini glue dot on this, I mean a mini dimensional. Thanks, Judy. I'm glad you like it. And we're gonna put him right there. Now, oh, I've got all kinds of little things floating around. <clears throat> now, let's put that on there. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment, and this sentiment is from Itty Bitty Christmas. I had to think about that for a second. Itty Bitty Christmas in real red. And let me get my baby trimmer. I love using it. This is the trimmer, the baby trimmer, that is going to be available when you buy the starter kit during celebration. And the only way to get it is to buy the starter kit, and it'll be free. Now, you can also get it if you're a demonstrator, but only in December. And it's so cute. I love using a little trimmer like this for these little tiny things like this. Um, when I'm just cutting a, um, a sentiment, and I'm gonna use my tailored tag punch, and I'm gonna cut these right here to make a banner. Then, hopefully my red is dry, I'm gonna take my ugly bone folder. Let's look on the other side. Nope, that's just as bad. <laughs> Can you tell what I did with my bone folder? I ranked my ink pads. I always get a new one and say I'm not gonna do it, and then I do. All right, uh, you can use a spoon to do that, to re-ink your ink pads, but I always break the spoon and then I don't have anything. And so then I end up using my bone folder. There we go. See how I curved that with the um, bone folder? So that it's a banner, it's kind of a three-dimensional banner. And I'm gonna put many glue dots there. Are you guys done with your Christmas shopping? 
I think I can officially say I'm done. Well, maybe a few more stocking stuffers. I feel like that's never ending. But today I really was like, check, 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 done. Tomorrow, Addie's teacher, she's going to be gone on Friday. So tomorrow we've got to take her her gift. Now here we've got holiday rhinestones, which by the way, I'm giving everybody who puts in an order between now and January 1st, a pack of holiday rhinestones. Did you guys check out the clearance rack? There was some awesome things yesterday. There's still a lot left, but I will send this for free to anybody who places an order over $25 between now and January 1st. All right, so there we go. How easy is that? Easy, right? Now, one thing I did do is to write the message. Here's this, this is part of those, I think they're called Sweetly Stitched um, frames. Correct me, because I know somebody knows. This is another new um, die in the spring catalog. You could just cut a rectangle or a circle or whatever and just put this on here. That way you can write your, your little, you know, to and from, who it's from, Merry Christmas, whatever. Like that, and then, ta-da, done. Fun, right? Easy, easy, easy. You can make a bunch of these quickly. You can use a paper that you have left, right? We've all got pieces of Christmas designer series paper, just like in a pile that um, we didn't use. So that's a good use for it. Here's the other one. I've got to make a few more of these and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've already pulled all my Christmas paper out of my paper sorter. It's in a pile, all the, the little bits I have left and I'm going to, oh, I forgot. Did I have a ribbon on this? I think I did. Look, it's right here. I think I did have a ribbon. It needs a ribbon for sure. Let's put one right there. This ribbon is new. This is from um, the spring catalog too. It's called double stitched satin ribbon. It's real red, so it's good for Valentine's and Christmas. But you could use, you know, use up your Christmas stuff and make a bunch of gift card holders. Or these would hold money too. <laughs> if you've got teenagers in your life, they love money. They definitely love money. All right, there you go, you guys. Let me show you this one too. This was the gift card holder I got um, in our gift card holder swap. Um, stitched so sweetly dies. Thank you, Lisa. I was close, wasn't I? Um, so she used that beautiful paper. Um, she actually has two different papers. This it looks to be, no, it's not. Wow, it looks just like that paper, doesn't it? This is a snowman season paper, which is long sold out, unfortunately. You slide that off, and then there's the gift card inside from Barbara Dye. Isn't that cute? Easy. She just folded that paper in half. It looks to be about four inches wide. And however tall you want to make it, you just slide that in. She made a belly band to slide it over to keep it in. Even easier, right? So cool. All right, you guys, that's it for me. And that will probably be it um, between now and New Year's. You probably won't see me again. I did want to show you one little sneak peek. I have been trying to make some sneak peek stuff um, in between the other things that I have to get done before Christmas week. And so I did, I've got to make some birthday cards for my January team birthdays. And so I did play around with this new birthday suite. Look how bright. And to see something that's not red and Christmas colors, you guys, was like <coughs> so nice. So bright and bold, mango and daffodil. So it's coming. I'm working on it. I will start giving you guys some sneak peeks about a week out. The new catalog goes live January 3rd. Um, I've got lots of things planned. We will have a big Facebook Friday on January 3rd. And um, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to tell you today. Um, don't forget, if you want to sign up for the paper shares, um, you'll find that link on my blog. And I'll add it here, too, in the description. All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I hope that you um, get to relax, spend some time with loved ones. And um, I will see you in January. Have a wonderful week. Bye, guys. Thank you.